this one we are going to uh, be doing some clothing modifications so here we're gonna show you how to do the um, basic uh, adjustments of clothing so open up blender grab this and you don't need it delete it so it's empty and now press n i'm gonna turn on my screen keys so now you can see my keys that i'm pressing press on empty tabs and let's find our model uh for this one it's gonna be that one we're gonna be skipping the scale so this model is going to be huge on this round and import is going to take a little while for it to work and there it is so on this model what we want to do is adjust this section uh, to be closer to the skin since right now it's kind of like uh, too far out so let's do this quite fast first of all if you move the model by pressing G everything comes with it uh, to do, fix that we're gonna press on separate materials here on the end of the tab press that one and it's gonna take a little while for it to process there you go and everything's orange and now it's set so we want this part all right, we want that one. And if your model is symmetrical, like it is on this one, I'm going to get rid of one section. So what I'm gonna do first, uh, since when you bring in an uh, MD model, the origin point on uh, AMD is right here. And I want it to be in the center of the uh, mesh. So to fix that, I will press right click, set origin, set origin to uh, geometry, and now the origin point is right here. I'm gonna press tab, select one side of the uh, mesh, press L, that's gonna select the whole entire connected value. And I don't want this. I'm gonna press X and delete vertex edges or faces. We'll do the same thing on this situation. So boom, that's gone. Now what I wanna do is come over here to the range while you have your uh, item selected. And we're gonna add a mirror modifier. So over here, grab that one, press it and that one's going to be mirrored on the origin point and so the origin point was already in center of the uh, uh the mesh we have a perfect copy on the other side so now whatever i do to this one let me grab it uh here whatever i do to this one the second side it's also doing it all right, just go out of it. So there's two ways of modifying uh, this mesh. One will be sculpting, and the other one is gonna be on edit mode by pressing tab. Let's cover the sculpting. And every time you do it, your screen moves, so you just press shift, move to the right spot where you want it, and you have a bunch of sculpting tools. Uh, for our instance, we just want to move the uh, mesh. We don't want to actually create anything. So press this guy, elastic. And now you have uh, this little guy. And to make your brush bigger, press F. And I believe my screencast got turned off. Turn the suckers on again. There we go. It's on again. So now, 
says, uh, I have a mirror modifier. Whatever I do to one side, it happens to the other one. If you're not using the mirror modifier and you want to have it both, go up here and you can press this guy. And now you see that little dot there to the uh, left of your screen. That means it's going to be mirrored on both sides. But since we made it easier for ourselves and I have a perfect copy, don't need to have that on. So now just click, pull, click, pull, drag, push. That's all you have to do. Now move the, your, your part around. I like the way how you want it to uh, have it to look here. It's too much over there. And let's fix that. Click that. Push that one in. Too much. So just like that, you just grab this and pull it, adjust it. Let me undo that little last part. And that way you have it uh, in place. All right, so move, move around. Let's go back to object mode. Screencast got turned off. All right. From here, now let's do it via um, the second way, which is going to be doing by editing the vertex on edit mode. So press tab as long as you have your uh, item selected. And now you have the vertex. Let me turn off. There, no color. Be easier to see now. All right, so press one to select your vertex. Press L to select. Uh, no, press two to select um, lines. Select and press three to select faces. To move things around, you're gonna be pressing G after you select something and then you can move your mouse around. To select more than one item, press Shift and click. And now press G and then you can move all those uh, items together. So you have a single point selection or select multiple points with Shift or use your uh, window select. Press two, select your lines. Okay. So that's uh, your three ways of selecting different, your uh, three items of uh, vertex. Uh, now to move things around, press G that pulls your item around, press R and that rotates it. And that all depends on your camera view. So go here. Nice. Right, so you grab it. It all depends on your uh, point of view. Select multiple ones and adjust them like so. To have a similar thing as um, the sculpting, but with slightly more control. It's with this guy. You can activate it by either pressing this little button or pressing the O, the shortcut, which it tells you that there. Proportional editing shortcut. Boom, boom, on, off. All right, so on. You select it, press G, and now you have this uh, circle. And to adjust the uh, intensity of that circle, you scroll up 
or you scroll down. And that means um, the bigger it is, the more control it has over the mesh. All right, so you scroll it down and the gradient fall off from this the center of the screw, which is right here, falls off the further away you get. So you have very like precise control over one is go to like make it smaller to have it have a gridding effect and have uh, an effect over the surrounding uh, mesh. You just increase it up to your desired uh, point. So you can grab that one, grab it to your point that you don't like it. Make it smaller to be more precise. And you can just keep on uh, adjusting. All right, so those are the ways how you can move your uh, mesh around. In this case, the um, skin of your clothing. Now we imported the model. Let's export the model. Select that one. I, what I'd like to do is select the whole entire model. Press A. Go to the MD uh, tab and export the model. Select what you were. This was my previous temp. Let's go with temp number three. Okay. And the scale is one to one since we didn't move our scale this time around. Press export. And wait for a blender to give you the uh, result, which they did there. There it is. Let's open up MMD and graph and drop. And there's our little result. It works, and since we did the mirror modifier, we have a perfect copy in the other side. So that saves you a heck of a lot of time. And you can move the model. As you can see, it is following the bones. All right, let's close that. Yes. And let's do a quick revamp. Um, we cover importing the model. We cover how to export the model. We cover how to turn the uh, separate the materials on the place. We went from sculpting which we'll undo and we went from editing the model and yep pretty simple with that we'll call it a done video for this simple explanation